Hi everyone, I hope you're all well. So the work SJW left has provided us with a constant source of both amusement and frustration over the past five or so years, whether it's kooky protesters, whacked out teachers, or people who genuinely seem to need help. Oh, no. oh we should film oh. it. Yes. Oh. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, no. There is always something out there to watch and wonder at. And while, granted, in recent times these mad wokies have upped the ante to somewhat alarming levels, nowadays that throwing bingo would likely be burning down buildings with Black Lives Matter, there is still enough non-physically destructive material on the internet to prove they haven't all gone completely off the rails just yet. Although it may be getting close to that. Also, if you think you can see a cat in the background, no, you're not seeing things, it is indeed a cat. Anyway. In light of the world having absolutely gone to hell over the past 18 months and in light of the new lockdowns and restrictions in Australia over about 120 something cases in a country of 25 million people, I've d decided to do something today that is light and fun and a relief from the doom and gloom of the regular news cycle. But before I tell you what that is, this video is sponsored by slug.com, but when I say sponsored by, I mean I have to use that terminology because YouTube will get me into trouble if I do not. Really, what I'm saying is that I'm on a new pro-free speech platform called Slug. I would love for you all to join me there and to become a member of my group. Slug is a discussion platform outside of big tech, which is very, very important. And as well as me, it features a number of the content creators that you know and love. And considering the behavior of big tech over the past several months in terms of censoring many of your favorite conservative figures, it's very important that we support these alternative platforms. I have put the link to slug.com in the video description. Please click on it and join me there. I would love to have you. Also, please subscribe to my YouTube channel if you haven't already if you want to be notified of my videos and live streams. We have a lot of fun on this channel and I would love for you to be a part of that. Anyway, Given the age demographic of my channel, which is largely between 25 and 55, you may all have thought that Twitter is the wokest of all the social media platforms. Well, as I have discovered, that is no longer true. The platform where all of the worstest wokies congregate is actually TikTok. And trust me, it is way worse than Twitter because everything do is done in video format rather than in text. And needless to say, there is a whole range of stuff you can fit into a video that you cannot fit into tweets. So, thanks to our friends at the Twitter account Libs of TikTok, who have compiled some of the worst of these videos as a form of public service, today we are going to be reacting to and hopefully laughing at woke TikToks. Let's get started, shall we? Cops on horses are such a around 30 million dollars a year in taxpayer money we're like horse girls but we can kill people F that. F cops on horses and you know what i'll say it F the horses too whoa 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 i'm sorry but what did the horses do wrong? So now, NYPD horses, you have a choice to make. Do you stand with the people? Oh, or do you ride for the pigs? Horses do the right thing. F up some. This goes on for 12 more minutes. Right, so this isn't the first time the anti-cop brigade have gone after police horses. I mean, who could forget the photos of the police horse with the broken nose last year during the Black Lives Matter riots? They are so filled with hatred and delusion that they were literally projected onto helpless animals who have no say in the matter. Which is why I felt such a guilty satisfaction last year when I saw this video. This is fun. <laughs> Oops. 
Okay, I hate to disappoint here, but I'm guessing the person who made this TikTok probably isn't Joe Biden's type. Just saying. Really? Really you think that? Or is that just like, you throwing a tantrum? Because the logic isn't sound, honey. It is illogical to say that a racist would support a party that wants more immigrants to come to the United States. I don't know if you know what racism is, but racist would be against immigrants coming to the United States. It's like the basic tenet of racism. We're also like big, you know, Black Lives Matter people, you know, and we don't like it when the police beat up black people and brown people or whatnot, you know? So for that reason, it would be illogical and incredibly stupid for a racist to be a Democrat. However, that racist definitely belongs in the Republican Confederacy, for sure, 100 percent. First of all, has this woman heard of Joe Biden? And second of all, this is why you should never trust people who relentlessly profess how moral they are. Generally, they are compensating for something. Democrats and leftists generally are renowned for their bigotry of low expectations. That means they hold non-white people to lower standards than they do other white people. That's why they fall over backwards not to offend them and to insist that their lived experience should never be critiqued or questioned. Uh, that's why they support affirmative action programs and it's why they insist that all white people need to work together to deal with their racist selves in order to elevate non-white people because the poor little brown people just can't help or defend themselves. I mean, there was even a study published in the Journal of Personality and Social Psychology a couple of years ago that found white leftists literally dumbed themselves down when talking to black people, perceivably in an attempt to bring themselves down to their level. It's absolutely perverse, and it is eerily in line with the school of thought of so-called benevolent white supremacists who believe the white race has a duty to act as custodians for non-white people because they lack the capacity to properly care for themselves. It's sick, it's racist, and you can just tell this white Democrat is brim full of it. Speaking of which... Every white person is racist. We are taught in our systems, in our school systems, in, in the government, everywhere. There's still, like, signs, there, there's still statues up of these fucking southern confederate leaders that black people have to stare at so don't sit there and say the system isn't made racist it is and the and 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 if you're one of those people that are watching this being like well i'm not racist if you aren't you're the mother i'm talking to right because i realized that i was built and raised in a racist system and i'm educating myself to get out of it that's what makes you a better fucking person not denying the fact that it even happened get your together okay so this is the reason white leftist women between 18 and 29 are the most likely of any identity group or political ideology to have been diagnosed with a mental illness at some point according to a 2020 study by pew research the crushing guilt they place upon themselves for having been born with the original sin of being white Caucasians rivals that of the Catholics. And trust me, I know, I went to Catholic school for seven years. Mmm, nothing like entitled white male for breakfast. Here I come, motherfucker! <laughs> okay, that's just frightening. And really racist and hateful, by the way, especially since, at least at the start of COVID, more men than women were dying of it. And now we have one of the greatest scapegoats of leftist dogma, white women's tears. White women crying when they receive any sort of criticism from women of color is f***ing racist. Because white women will sit there and use their tears as weapons against women of color to absolve themselves from any sort of guilt, but also to silence women of color. And this white damsel in distress narrative is not only racist, but it is also lethal. White women tears only helps uphold white supremacy. Do you think this girl has ever considered that perhaps the reason all these white women are apparently crying when she talks to them is because she is, in fact, a jerk? I mean, seriously, if it's happening with the regularity that she seems to imply, odds are it's something to do with her, not them. But wait, there's more. So pardon, I literally, this is like the first TikTok I saw this morning. Uh, white women, you need to hear this story. I had a friend who felt comfortable enough around me to explain and I'm very forever grateful because 
It makes so much sense. She was like, Sierra, when you come to my house and you're the only white person in the room, you are still a threat. Because at any moment, you could decide that you are uncomfortable with anything going on. You could call the police. And all of us would either end up jailed or killed by the police and your fellow white people. She's like, we learn about Emmett Till from our moms who were kids when that happened because a white woman's tears kills people. So as uncomfortable as you ever feel in conversations about race and racism, you are literally a deadly presence and you need to recognize that in order to be an ally. This girl clearly needs to get better friends and not because those friends she's talking about are black. This is not a race thing. She should get better friends because the ones she has are clearly awful people. And speaking of awful people, here's another one. Got this comment and newsflash, he thinks you're a colonizer also. I got a newsflash for you. That's fine, I understand. I am a colonizer and I don't expect anyone to trust me when I'm wearing this skin color. I'm wearing the enemy's uniform. People who look like me have hurt everyone who doesn't for hundreds of years. So I think it's unreasonable for me to expect that kind of trust from anyone. I mean, I could work as hard as I can. I can read Malcolm X every day and I'm still gonna make racist mistakes and hurt people I care about. And even if I don't hurt them, somebody else around me can weaponize my whiteness at any time and hurt more people. So the impression I get from this person is that she perceives non-white people in the same way parents who spoil their children perceive their toddlers. They feel it necessary to listen to, believe, accept and enact anything their toddlers say to make them feel more comfortable and satisfied and better about themselves, lest they get upset or hurt. That parent spoiling children mindset seems to be how this woman perceives black people, which is very paternalistic and of course unbelievably racist. I refer you back to my discussion of the bigotry of low expectations earlier in the video. Then there's this. If you do mess up somebody's pronouns, all you need to do is correct yourself and apologize. You don't need to fall over yourself saying, oh God, I, I totally love transgender people. I've seen all four seasons of Transparent because no one has seen all four seasons of Transparent. Now, I've had people mess up my pronouns before, and to be perfectly honest, I tend to forget about it as soon as it happens, which is why I keep a little notebook around with me so I can write down the names of who did it and when they did it, because you never know when you're going to need a little leverage from time to time. I find this clip to be terrifying, not because this person is trans, but because she's literally keeping a record of her so-called friend's perceived transgressions against her in case she needs leverage. What exactly is she thinking of when she says leverage is what I want to know. Well, there you have it. The worst work TikToks I could find in a short period of time. Let me know which ones you liked or loathed the most in the comments below. And please also let me know if you would like to see more of this kind of content from me. I am very happy to make it if so. If you like that video, please remember to like, subscribe, share, leave me a comment. And if you really, really liked it, then check out the video description for my subscribe star link and other ways you can support me. Mm -hmm.